All right, so check this out. This video is gonna show you how to update the radios on your HTC Evo 4 GLTE. We don't have the original ones that came with it. We previously updated it and I made a video on the older radios. These are newer radios. I still have HBoot 1.12 and a mess off. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is in the stickies, you'll find this one right here, resources. It's just the easiest way I know to find it. Go down here until you see the Jewel Radio Collection. Big, 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 big shout out to Captain Throwback for putting this together for us. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is click on this, get to the downloads, and then you'll see full firmware zip. Includes the new radio, PRI, and a few other smaller updates. HBoot, recovery, and boot image not included. You do not want those. Those are very bad. If you're S on and you really don't ever care about being S off, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is run fastboot OEM lock. I do have a video on my second channel that's kinda crappy, but I'll link to it in the description. Relock your bootloader, run the full RUU, and that will give you the new radios and everything, but you'll also get the very latest hboot if you accepted the update and you now have the hboot 1.15 or whatever it is not the latest one but the second to latest one as of this video you have to go ahead and just relock run the full ruu and get the new hboot you have no choice if you want the latest radios it's completely up to you whether you wait and see if there's an s off method or if you just accept the fact that you already updated you can't get s off and you want the latest radios so i don't know it's completely up to you but if you're s off you definitely do not want the new H boot. So we're going to click this full firmware zip. It's going to take us to dev host. There is also a mirror. I'm going to copy this just to make sure I'm, I have the valid file. Download. Click show in folder. And then you'll find the file. I always just sort by modified so the newest ones at the top. What I'm going to do, and this is completely optional, but I'm going to send it to WinMD5SUM. I have a second monitor hooked up to my ASUS G74SX, so sometimes some things go to the main monitor and I'm recording the second monitor. Just paste it, compare, the files are exactly the same. That is good. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is rename this. You can either press rename or you can click on it and press F2. And we're going to just backspace all this extra stuff out. You could also do this from your phone if you open your mobile web browser and you click the link and you can rename it using like ES File Explorer. So you don't need to use a computer. There we go. We got that on there. We need to send this file to the phone. Also, if you double click on it, I highly recommend 7-Zip. It is completely free, open source, and unlike WinRAR, you don't have to find a crack or pay anything for it. It's completely free and to me it's much better. As you'll see, there is no HBoot. <laughs> you do not want the latest H boot. It is very, very bad. Hence why the moment I bought my Evo 4 Gel to E and my Evo 3D, I declined all updates until S off was available. All right, that's pretty much it. You just need to take this PJ75 image file and put it on your external SD card on your Evo 4 Gel to E. First off, I wanna go ahead and apologize. I don't have a new mic yet, so everything is going from the camera, and it sounds like crap. It's gonna pick up my air conditioner. They're doing construction outside. Just not the best day to do a freaking video, but it's something I've needed to do for a couple weeks now. We have signed Jamon 10 Nightlies. It is the unofficial builds. The unofficial builds are better than the official builds simply because they're coming directly from Couch, and not everything is pushed to his GitHub or whatever just yet. All right, enough talking. Let's power this thing down. I'm going to do a voiceover or just completely mute out a certain part because of how freaking loud the background noise is. If you're using a stock ROM, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have fast boot disabled under the power options. Once the device is fully booted down, we need to hold volume down and power at the same time until we see this screen. If you don't see the screen immediately and you see these lights flash, just make sure that you let go and immediately press volume down and hold power again like you did before. We have the file on the root directory of the external SD card. You cannot use the internal storage. You have to use an SD card. Here you'll see the radio that I'm currently running, HBoot 1.12.2222. Keep in mind, you have to do S off to use this bootloader method. If you have S on, like I said earlier, you have to go through the relocking and installing official updates, getting the new HBoot. It's just a big freaking mess. I'm sorry for those of you that just bought your Evo and it came with the 1.15 or the newest HBoot. That's not your fault. But for those of you that updated, hopefully you've learned your lesson. Again, as you'll see at the top, I have 
radio 1.1.05.11.0606 that's all stuff you can clearly read. As you can tell, there is no HRoot. If you see HRoot in that list, you downloaded the wrong file and you need to immediately press volume down, power, reboot the system, delete that zip, and put the one without the HRoot in there. You do not want that HRoot. I can't stress that enough. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and press volume up. Okay, my bad. I pressed volume down, which canceled it. Since a lot of custom ROMs in CM10 come with options to reboot into the bootloader, let's go ahead and do that. Is it going to check for the file or do we need to press the bootloader? Okay, when you use that reboot option in the bootloader, you have to press power. Now it's going to check. Yep, there you go. This time we'll try to press volume up. There we go. I cannot stress this enough if you do this and you just press volume up you can not I repeat cannot go back to older firmware you will break your device just ask Captain Throwback I think he's went through like three or four Evo 4 GLTEs downgrading is not possible at this point you do not ever want to try to downgrade since you now have the very latest and greatest radios. You can go to menu, system settings, or if you're using a stock ROM you can just scroll this down right here and press the settings button. It'll be right there. And then go down to about phone. There you see like the baseband. We'll go ahead and reboot it into bootloader though. I much prefer just choosing bootloader and pressing OK rather than holding that volume down and getting the timing right and all that fun stuff. Alright, we still have S off and it looks like we do in fact have newer radios. 1.12.11.0809 That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click but it goes a long way and I truly appreciate all the support. I'm going to be making a video on how to install the official very latest Sense 4.1 immediately after finishing this video and then I'm going to update my review on Mean ROM 4.4 or 4.5 if you really releases it by the time I get to it. Then I'm going to work on the EVO 3D and the Galaxy S3 and review CM10, unrooting, etc. And then I'm also going to do the Galaxy Nexus since after I update this to Sense 4.1. This will be my wife's new phone for now. Again, if you were S-off and this video helped you update everything without getting S on, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do? If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm out. Let's get a good look at that beautiful H-boot at updated radios. Oh man, I changed that using Regal and Odd's bootloader customizer tool. I have a video on it and I'll try to remember to link to it in the description of this video and I highly recommend checking it out. If you have S off and you have an H-boot earlier than that one right there, it will update your H-boot to this version right here, nothing newer, and it will also change the text right here if you want it to, or you can have it hide it all together and you can't see where I'm pointing because the camera's pointing up there. But whenever you start the device up, you'll see where it says register to Josh McAllister. You can disable that all together or you can make it say whatever you want it to say. And and this would say Lazy Panda if I just ran S off without running the bootloader customizer tool, but I have it say my username. What would Josh do? Again, this video is over. I'm out. I'm going to start working on the video you're currently watching right now, and it's going to show you how to update your Evo 4 gl to e to the latest version of Sense 4.1 without getting the new H-Boot. Combined with the new radios that you just installed, you will have a super awesome fast phone. If you're excited and you really want to see it, please give this video a thumbs up. Peace.